Hey, hey, hey! Deliero here from Samira's Den, where Sam and I explore various recipes for the everyday you. Ever wondered what Uzbek cuisine might taste like? You will get a chance to try it yourself, because today we are making traditional Uzbek stew called Demlema. As usual, we are inspired by traditional recipes, but we give you our own variation. Before jumping into the recipe, do subscribe to our channel and tap that notification bell to stay up to date on some Yara's Den. Let's go! While growing up, I was exposed to at least three different cuisines at home. Firstly, Russian. Mainly because of my paternal grandma. She was a pro cook of Russian dishes and she could never leave us hungry. I believe these are specifics of a lot of grandmothers and I somehow feel I will be the same. Secondly, Tatar cuisine. Mainly because of my maternal grandparents. I honestly still miss the taste of dishes my grandparents and my mom used to make. But I try to keep them alive, even while being in India. And lastly, Uzbek cuisine. Guilty. I'm from Uzbekistan. I remember how one of our family friends from Russia described the Uzbek cuisine. She said that the Uzbek cuisine gives you the pleasure of experiencing a gastronomical orgasm. Nani? Let's talk about the mlema. The mlema is a traditional Uzbek stew made with meat, usually beef or lamb, and a variety of vegetables. The beauty of the recipe is that it is a one-pot dish that can be made vegetarian and can be made with various vegetables that are available in your region. The mlema is made out of layers of fried meat with various vegetables that are cooked in their own juices. Nice. If you want to make a vegetarian option, you can simply skip the meat in my recipe. The process of making dam biryani in a sealed pot is very similar to the process of making dam lema in a sealed pot. There are no specific proportions for ingredients for this dish. You simply eyeball all the ingredients based on the size of your pot. So let's jump into it. First of all, I would recommend preparing all the veggies that you want to have in your stew. I usually use onions, potatoes, carrots, cabbage, brinjal, tomatoes, garlic, and green chilies. You're more than welcome to add any other vegetables or even fruits of your choice. Now, let's work on our levels. Firstly, you need to fry the meat of your choice. I use chicken here. Add bay leaf and cumin for the taste. After you fry your first level, it's time to place other layers. After onions and green chilies, I like to layer down potatoes, then carrots, then cabbage, bell pepper, brinjal, and tomatoes. Follow the logic that the harder the vegetable is, the lower the layer is going to occupy. In between the layers, don't forget to add your spices. I usually eyeball salt, pepper, chili powder, coriander powder, turmeric powder, and garam masala that give our demlema a more Indian twist. Don't forget to throw some garlic cloves in between layers. After all the layers are placed, keep a few pieces of butter on top. Add some water. Go with the proportion that for a 5-liter saucepan I use approximately 2 cups of water. Seal the lid and keep your saucepan on low to medium flame for an hour. I like keeping my saucepan on a high flame without the lid until I hear the water come to boiling. Then I seal the lid and leave the mlema on the stove for an hour. I wish you could smell this through the video. With its sweet, sour, and spicy taste, Damlema just makes it a perfect choice for your lunch or dinner. I like eating Damlema with Uzbek bread, but unfortunately, I don't have any around, so I'm going to enjoy my Damlema with a slice of sourdough bread. By the way, if you really want to savor every moment of eating Damlema, 
Start by tipping the bread into the stew and then only dig in into damnema. If you are planning to make damdama for your next lunch or dinner, let me know how it turns out in the comment section below. If you like this video, do like, share and subscribe and tap that notification bell to stay up to date on Samyaras Den. I'm Deliara from Samyaras Den. Hayer! Soamad bullying!